Hi everyone. Well, I felt like doing a live video today. I'm, it's just a beautiful day here at the Peace House. I'm, I, I'm at the, uh, I'm in the backyard just doing some, some projects, and yeah, it, it feels like just a really precious time for me to be here because I'm, I'm going to be leaving here in about two weeks, and. Originally, I thought I'd actually be going on a tour around the eastern side of the U.S. And, and then as I, and I even announced that on one of my Facebook live videos, or maybe a couple of them. And then I, I started to notice that I just, something wasn't really feeling 100% right about it. And I, I started to pray into it a bit deeper. And, and then finally realized that I, the only thing I really want to do is is to communicate like this. I want to share. I want to open my heart and be transparent, and um, and just yeah, just extend the miracles and the ideas that I'm learning. And to to go on a tour, which requires you know a lot of logistics, of course, and planning, and you know support needed for the car, for the gas, for finding places to stay, for people that want to host and all that. It just felt kind of like an unnecessary thing when <laughs> it's so easy just to go online and uh, and share like this. So, so I'm actually going to be doing more of these and I also am going to be leaving in a couple weeks to go back to Utah, to Camas, Utah, which is where our Living Miracles Metaphysical Center is. and. Um, and some of you know we have a really kind of top of the line studio there so I'll be able to stream from the studio I'm sure from time to time and uh, we'll be doing our online events and and there's a big kind of momentum happening right now towards 2020 which we actually feel is going to be like a um, kind of like a, a year for digital extension like really stepping into the 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 modern era of of going big in terms of digital sharing, of sharing online events and, and doing Facebook Lives and YouTube Lives and really just putting the word out there that, that we, are, we are innocent. We are all innocent. We're all, you know, it's like politicians use the media so much now and people use the media for all kinds of things, but, but we're, we're wanting to use the media just to extend love. And the message of innocence and so I think there's gonna be a lot of that happening so I'm excited I'm I, I've uh, yeah I've just been here the past couple months doing a lot of projects I thought I'd actually show you around and um, the you know the whole property still is a little bit in chaos right now because I'm still in the middle of a few of the projects but but I thought I could just show you some of the things I I just got this nice wheelbarrow because um, my dad is actually coming in about a week from now, a little, about more like, he's coming on the 18th, I guess, you know, a little over a week. And he's going to help me with a project. I'll take you over here. This is the, uh, the shed, which is kind of like a little wood shed. And it used to be a pretty, me it was, when I got here, it was kind of in shambles and in like big chaos. And I, I've just been organizing it since I arrived. and. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that well, but it's it's a little bit nicer now. I've, I've kind of I've made a little work station over there for myself, and got all my tools hanging up, and so it's been uh, so it can be useful for me for all these projects I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of carpentry, which is pretty new for me. In fact, when I grew up, my dad, you know, he would take me on job sites occasionally because that was his profession. He was a general contractor. And um, I never, I never liked it. I just was quite averse to manual labor in general. So uh, yeah, I haven't, haven't really had a liking for this kind of work until, until recently. Um, I was at the monastery for our Awakening to Love event that some of you might have been at in uh, in Utah this past uh, August, and I did a lot of carpentry projects there and just really loved them. But I'm going to be doing something brand new and as soon as he arrives, which is uh, pouring concrete for a new step over here. This, this, whole, um, this whole back door of the Peace House, it was, it was just all decayed and rotting and 
it was just a total mess and it's it's been that way for a while and so I, I kind of ripped it out the old and I put in a new threshold under the door and um, and you can't really see underneath but I've just laid a, a form to pour the concrete into over here so it'll be a nice concrete step and, and a nice little landing for people to to be able to go on that door and then eventually we'll probably paint repaint the door and sand you know redo there's a lot of work there's you can see the algae on the house there uh needs to be scrubbed off at some point and um yeah it's been really fun though i'm just really enjoying this kind of work right now um my battery on my phone says it's getting very low so i might die here in a second but i'll see if i can take you take you inside and again i apologize for the mess it's not not pristine right now but I'll be cleaning it up when when I finish all my projects this is the, um, the hot tub by the way which hasn't been used in a while and uh, there's a little table out here there's a lot of leaves falling so I'm doing a lot of raking lately <laughs> this is the front door and it's an interesting house too because it's not on the street there's the street is down there but there's another house in front of ours that between us and the street. So we're kind of, it's kind of nice actually because we're off the street in our own little private area. It's a little quieter. <clears throat> Here's the refrigerator, the uh, kitchen. Um, let's see how the, yeah, I'm kind of reorganizing all the, the shelves right now. And, cleaning this is the sanctuary and I got to show you the basement too because that's the most exciting part sanctuary is nice and the basement here it's got this little uh, note on the wall be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind Romans 12 2 one of those beautiful gems in the Bible so this is, uh, let's see if I can show down here easily. So we just renovated this whole basement. It, uh, it, was, it was a dirt floor when I arrived. It's been a dirt floor for a long time. Oh, here we go. Now you can see. Down the steps. And now it has a concrete floor. So it's much, it's nice and modern. Again, it's kind of a mess as well, but it's it's getting there. I've just put a lot of stuff in here that will be stored here. I've put in a dehumidifier and I've put up this plastic sheet because there's um, there's windows and doors on the other side which are uh, which aren't really sealed very properly so I wanted to seal off some of the moisture coming from there for this first run of the dehumidifier that I just installed and started last night. And there's the rest of the basement. I'm going to be doing some work down here to seal those windows around them and the door. And yeah, I have a feeling my phone's about to die, so I'm actually going to head back up and sign off here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these lives uh, for the next couple of weeks while I'm here, and also when I get to Camus for the. Um, yeah, for the end of this year, we're going to have a Christmas retreat. Um, we're, we just have, we have a December online retreat coming up. Go to livingmiracles.org forward slash events and you'll see all the things we got coming up. But uh, yeah, I just love you so much and I'm so grateful for the guidance that's been given to me these last couple days to just open up to a whole new way out of the box digital extension and really seeing that it's all in the mind it's all it's all in our mind it's, it's very peaceful okay <laughs> bye bye for now